Hey guys, I wanna to talk to you today about some sailing weather myths. So there's always a few things that float around the internet um, and around the boat park that just are not always true about weather forecasting um, and what we see out on the water. So I'm here to break down the top weather myths. So myth number one, the European or ECMWF weather model is the most accurate. Um, I've actually seen a couple of um, pretty big weather um, data companies put this out there um, and it's just not true. Um, so I've read that um, ECMWF is proven to be the most accurate weather model um, and that it's the leader in forecasting, especially for long range, um, and is better accuracy than traditional climate forecasts. Um, while the European model is pretty good and we do use it for a lot of things, um, maybe some certain studies on verification have shown that it's um, one of the better ones. It is by no means always the best one. So here's the truth. There is no silver bullet weather model that's more accurate than all the rest, okay? I know everybody is always asking me, what's the best weather model? What's the best one to use? Um, really, there's no one model. Um, it really depends on your location, depends on the time of year, and what type of weather pattern you're actively in at the time. So usually you wanna look at two to three weather models um, and look for a consensus between them, right? So that gives you confidence in the forecast. So I always say to check out um, maybe one of the global models, it could be the European, maybe the GFS, whichever one seems to have been doing better in your area. Um, and then maybe also take another look at a couple of higher resolution models for your region, which tend to pick up on the small scale features better, which is what we care about when we're sailing. All right, so let's head over to myth number two. This mainly applies to the offshore sailors and cruisers um, in big boats and going offshore. But myth number two is your weather routing program will find the best route for you. So I actually got this in an email and it's just flat out scary because it's wrong. <laughs> it said faster routes are typically the safest routes. Just not true. <laughs> so here's an example. Um, the weather routing software basically finds the fastest route given what the wind speeds are and what um, sailing angle you have and, and also your boat polars that you've put into the program. Um, <clears throat> so if there is, let's say, a storm nearby and there's a whole bunch of strong wind speed near that storm, um, even if you put a cap on the wind speeds that you wanna sail in, that weather routing software is gonna say, hey, you're gonna go much faster if you sail into these strong winds. Um, so, it might be the fastest route, but it is definitely not always the safest route. Um, so here's the truth. Computer weather routing is not a substitute for weather knowledge, okay? The routing that the computer uses is just an algorithm, and it's only as good as the weather models that go into it, which we know are not always correct. Um, and so the, really the best thing for us to do is to learn and understand the weather patterns um, and how systems move and where is okay to route through and where is not okay to route through. Okay, so learning and understanding about weather patterns, you can um, read several books, I have some online courses, or you can work with a meteorologist um, to check your route um, or even have them help you find a route before you go. All right, myth number three. All you need to know before going out sailing is the wind speed and wind direction from your smartphone app. Uh, listen, I love smartphone apps as much as the next person. I've got four or five of them on my phone um, that I do look at, but here is the truth. Most weather apps are just model data repackaged in a pretty format, right? Um, second thing is that things like temperature, cloud cover, rain or um, systems coming in are all very important features to think about even if you're just going out first sailing a couple hours in the afternoon. So really the best thing we can do is not rely too much on pure models and pure just like quick snapshot information. Um, we want to try to take in as much information as we can other than just oh hey it's going to be 10 to 15 knots today from the southeast. 
Um, so you want to think about, are there clouds coming in? Maybe if the clouds are coming in, um, it's going to bring more wind with it because there's a cold front coming. Um, you can think about temperature, you know, is the temperature over land going to be rising a lot hotter in the afternoon than it is over the water? That could cause a sea breeze effect. Um, your app may not pick up on those kind of things, right? So um, learning about like visual clues like clouds, um, wind shifts and fronts, all of these things um, really can make a big difference in your own little weather forecast before you go sailing. All right, guys, that is our top three weather myths for today. We will have more videos like this coming out every week. So if you want to keep watching them, definitely like the video and you can subscribe um, for more videos. Thanks. Talk to you guys soon.